Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So things that we know for sure right now is that Donald Trump is going to be the Republican nominee. And we didn't necessarily know whether it was going to be Kamala Harris or someone else representing the Democratic Party. But yesterday, Barack Obama and his wife, Michelle Obama, both came out and endorsed Kamala Harris, which more or less pretty much slams the door on that case. It is going to be Kamala Harris. It looks like more than likely unless something extremely substantial changes within the next few weeks, it's going to be Donald Trump versus Kamala Harris. And over the coming years, one very important topic is going to be Social Security. We've seen Donald Trump coming out saying that we're not going to make any changes whatsoever to Social Security. We're not going to be raising taxes. We're not going to be raising the full retirement age. We're not going to make any changes whatsoever. Whereas with Kamala Harris, she says that we're going to raise taxes to have more money come into the trust fund to make sure that the trust fund does not go insolvent come the year of 2033. But we're going to be going over one former Democratic senator's idea saying that we must actually reduce Social Security benefits. So we must be transparent with the Americans. We're going to be going over that statement with what he's saying. But before we dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm. And also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Plus, if you would like to receive up to $200 in free stock or $200 in free cash, in a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Robinhood. All you have to do is once you click on that link is just sign up for a free account and then simply link your bank account. You do not even have to make an opening deposit. At that point in time, Robinhood will be sending you one free stock worth all the way up to $200. And if you'd really just have the cash, all you have to do is once you receive the free stock, it's just sell for what it's worth and then transfer the cash value right back to your bank account. Okay, so diving right into our first story of today's video, even though over the past few days it was, you know, uh, heavily thought that um, Kamala Harris would be the Democratic nominee, we weren't 100% sure because the real leader of the Democratic Party, aka uh, Barack Obama, uh, hadn't come out yet and endorsed her. So people were wondering, Eric, is he going to eventually come out and endorse her? Maybe Michelle Obama would throw her hat into the ring, which if she did, uh, let's face it, she would more than likely probably uh, beat out Kamala Harris because they were much more popular uh, than Kamala is. But yesterday they did indeed come out and they threw their full support behind Kamala Harris, which pretty much wraps it up for her. She is pretty much going to be the Democratic nominee to face off against Donald Trump this November. So according to The Hill, uh, basically they said that we called to say that Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and everything we can do to get you through this election and into the Oval Office. Uh, Harris responded, oh my goodness, Michelle Barack, this means so much to me. I'm looking forward to doing this with the two of you, Doug and I both. Uh, the words you have spoken and the friendship you have given over all the years mean more than I can express. So thank you both. It means so much and we're going to have some fun with this too aren't we? So again, it looks like it is going to be Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump this November. And again, one of the big things that are going to be on the table, and one of the big things they're going to might be talking about at the debate is Social Security. And we know Donald Trump's plan is to sort of not do anything, not raise taxes, not uh, raise the full retirement age, not cut benefits. Kamala Harris wants to raise taxes. But we actually have one former Democratic senator coming out and saying that we may just need to reduce Social Security benefits across the board, that we need to be transparent with the American public. Be like, there's only this much money coming into the trust fund, but we have to pay out this much. The, the amount that we have to pay out is more than the amount coming in. So therefore, we need to cut benefits. He thinks that we just need to come out and be transparent to the American public. Let's go ahead and watch. What's the solution here? Because in Donald Trump's answer to the debt question, he did eventually go on to immigration. When President Biden was talking about the national debt question, that was the question where he froze up and ended up saying, we beat Medicare. In your op-ed for um, the Washington Post, this is what you said for a possible solution. We don't need another commission. We need the president and Congress to do their patriotic duty and lead. What does that leadership look like? You're going to have to come. First, you have to come to the American people and, and tell them the truth. You can't come and dodge this. 
you got to say, here are the facts. And it's not complicated. It's not like a cure for cancer. It's a relatively straightforward problem. We're, we're, we're spending X, um, and we're, we're from taxes, we're generating, I don't know, X, X minus 5% or 6% or something like that. We're going to borrow another trillion dollars this year, I believe, uh, to cover the, cover the difference. And the only way we can solve that problem is be aware that we've got to keep the economy growing. All of us want the economy to grow. So we've got to look for a way to generate additional revenue. You know, take Social Security, for example. It's a relatively easy problem to solve. You are going to have to raise some additional revenue. I personally would like to see lower income beneficiaries get more rather than less. 40% of them right now, that's all they've got for income is Social Security. Uh, you're also going to have to make adjustments in the benefits. And for you that are covering this thing, the first thing that will happen for every single time there's proposal to fix Social Security, uh, the people will be tearing out their hair saying, uh, Bob Kerry wants to move the retirement age back. That's not true. There's no such thing as a retirement age any longer. We eliminated the need to quit work in order to get Social Security benefits. You don't have to retire to get Social Security. Uh, there's, a, there's, there's an early, there's a normal, and there's a late benefit. That is true. And those are going to have to be moved a bit. Uh, you, you, the, so you've got your spending and you've got revenue and you've got to balance the two out. And it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be covered for all, you know, you know, all generations. 75 years is supposed to be covered and it's not even coming close. It's, it's just not fair and it's not fair. And so you got to come and say, we, we can solve this problem. We're going to have to reduce the benefits a bit. We're going to have to generate some additional revenue. We can keep our economy growing. We can make Social Security even more fair than it currently is. But we got to be brave. We got to think of those men who landed at Normandy, uh, you know, 80 years ago and say, we've got to act the same way because it is going to take courage. It's not uh, it's not it's not going to be easy. Uh, and, and the American people have to recognize and, and appreciate when you've got people, when they, when they do finally step forward and say, we're brave enough to get this done. You're very clear eyed here saying there is a solution and it's very easy. We just need to come to the table and talk. Do you think people right now, politicians aren't coming to the table to talk about this because we're living in such a deeply divisive partisan time right now? Well, I think it matters. Uh, you know, although it's not the first time we've had difficulty solving uh, problems, uh, uh, but you know, you know, people have opposition to all kinds of things, and it, and 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 the solution to Social Security, as I said, Republicans are, oh my God, I don't want a tax increase. You can't solve it without a tax increase. Uh, well, I don't want a benefit cut. The the Democrats will say, but you can't solve it unless you do. It's not going to it's not going to ruin the country. Quite the opposite. We're going to be borrowing substantially less money. And more importantly, we're going to be able to say to our children, to our grandchildren, we don't just talk about you. We've covered the cost. We're doing this for you. Uh, we're not doing this for us. We, we recognize that we might win uh, by a smaller amount in the next election. We might even lose the next election. But again, I remind those 535 members of Congress, I'm sure all of them watched the D-Day celebrations and the, and the memories brought forth by these old men who paid the price and we, we praise them we recognize the courage it took if you want to be remembered for having done something required courage you need to do something that requires courage or you won't be remembered for it who do you think is better equipped when it comes to handling the national debt decreasing the national debt president biden or former president trump oh i think biden i mean biden's having difficulty answering the question but he didn't go to immigration as a solution, um, you know, uh, no, I think Biden is much more likely in the, in the end, when you get to a point where you got to decide what you're going to be for, to make those reasonable adjustments so those 40% of Americans who only have Social Security get a little bit more uh, than they currently do. Uh, so yes, I, 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 I trust Joe Biden more than I trust Joe. Uh, Donald Trump at the moment. So leave your thoughts and comments below what he's saying. Now, at least in my opinion, for the people receiving Social Security benefits that's already at the federal poverty line or below the federal poverty line, that it's just not enough to get by, we definitely cannot lower their benefits. Maybe the extremely high earners, those who are already doing very well that have other retirement accounts that are also earning close to $5,000 per month, with Social Security benefits, maybe their amounts should be reduced and the people earning the lowest amount should actually be bumped up. And we should find some way to keep this program growing at 100% of the benefits, but definitely a solution needs to be come up with 
because again, in 2033, perhaps 2032, maybe 2034, if nothing is done at all across the board, everyone will be receiving a cut of 25%, possibly even more in their benefits. But again, leave your thoughts and comments below what you think the solution should be to fix Social Security. Would definitely love to read them. But that's all we have for today's video. I certainly hope you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.